Hey guys, we're going to be checking out another exposed module today and this one's called App Settings. Now what this is going to allow you to do is allow configuration of generic settings on a per app basis. So you can change things like DPI, language, permissions and loads of other cool things per app and I've got to say I've been using this for a while and it's pretty damn awesome. Now to install this you install it like any other module in Exposed. If you don't know how to do that I've included links in the description which shows you how to install Exposed and how to install the module. So go ahead and install app settings. So once you've done that if you go into your app drawer you'll notice a new app called app settings. If you dive into this it will populate a massive list with apps and packages. You can see loads of different things right here. And at the top, we have some filters. So you can filter out certain things that you don't want to see, like system apps. Or you can filter out by permission. So if you want a certain permission to show up, you can do that. Or you can just search a name or package. OK, so let me actually show you what you can do with this. So we're going to use Gmail as an example. So if we tap into that, you won't see any options. And that's because it's off. You will need to turn it on for each application you go into. And now you have some options, for example, DPI, font scale, screen DP, local, which is the different languages. Whoops. And obviously, if you change a language and the app doesn't support that language, it's not going to change it. So it's not going to magically translate your app. You will have to have an app that supports a different language. Full screen, you can see here you've got force, prevent, and immersive. Immersive, of course, only works on Android 4.4. You've got some orientation changes. So if you want an application to always be in portrait or landscape, you can do that. And you can also change permissions or revoke permissions, I should say. Be careful with this, though, because if you do revoke them, it can break the application. So do be careful with that. And let's just go ahead and check out the Gmail app as it is right now. We'll just open this up. And I haven't changed anything. This is the stock Gmail app. This looks like it does on your phones as well. We dive back into app settings. Just for an example, we'll change the DPI to 200 just to see if it's going to work. Hit save, make sure you do that, otherwise it won't work. It's going to ask you to kill the application, press OK. Go back into Gmail, and you'll now see the application has changed. It's a lot smaller. I'm not saying that's how you'd want it, but you can see what my point is. You can change the application to how you want. Now, if you put this back to zero, it sets it back to the uh, default. And you can change the font scale as well. Now, this doesn't actually change the shape of the application or the layout. It just changes the font. So if we change this to 200, you can, of course, make it smaller as well. We go back into the application. You see the app is now normal, but the font here is huge, and that's because I changed that. So you can make that smaller or a little bit larger if you want. Underneath that, we have Screen DP. Now, some applications have different layouts, and just like the languages, if an app doesn't support a different layout, it's not going to work. But if we change Gmail to 800 by 1280, hit Save, you'll see that it does have a different layout. We'll actually change the font back to 100 save so we've changed that we'll go back into gmail you'll see it now has that tablet split screen view now not all apps have this like i said but it doesn't look very nice you can see the font is a little bit cluttered so what you want to do is go back in to dpi and change this i don't know to around 350 just as a guess hit save press ok go back out and you'll see now it fits a lot better it looks a lot neater and it's actually pretty nice so you can see what i mean you can change the application and this is only for gmail it hasn't changed any other app now, what other settings do we have here? Full screen mode, I'll show you that a little bit later. You can also have keep screen on when you're in an application. Show when locked, I've had a little bit of trouble with this when I actually allowed it to do it, kind of stopped my lock screen. You'll see what I mean here. If we're in Gmail now, we lock the phone. If I turn it back on, you'll see I don't have a lock screen. It just comes straight back onto Gmail. So I'm not sure if that's how it's meant to work, but that's how it's working right now. Resident means it's gonna stay in your RAM longer. So that's gonna, you know, it's going to take up more RAM, but it should be faster when loading. So you can have that on if you want. Orientation is pretty obvious. You can force landscape or force port, uh, portrait. You can also do some things with notifications here. I'm not going to mess around with permissions, but you can if you want to. Now, let me just show you the immersive mode or the, um, we'll press OK for that, the uh, full screen mode. So this is really useful for me in games. So I've already changed it to Temple Run. When it's red, by the way, that means you've already modified it. So if we go back into this, you'll see I haven't changed anything else, but full screen mode is set to immersive. OK, so let's dive into Temple Run and straight away, you're going to notice my status bar and navigation bar disappear and we have a full screen view, which is pretty damn awesome for games. I really love this. I use it all the time. And, you know, you don't lose any screen real estate now. You can have a full screen gaming experience. You can pull those uh, things up if you want them. So you can see them there. You can see your status bar. And then you can continue playing and have a full screen view. It works in all the games I've tried. It's it's probably my favorite feature of this uh, this module. It's pretty damn awesome. 
So uh, yeah, there you go. Now, let's just dive back into this. And um, yeah, th that's pretty much all there is to show you. There's also a backup feature. So if you hit this, you can actually export them. So if you change loads of applications and you want to kind of, you know, change ROM or you want to wipe your device and you don't want to do them all again, you can export that. It will show you where it's exported to and then you can import it when you've done all the stuff you wanted to do. So yeah, app settings is pretty damn awesome, guys. Definitely give it a shot if you haven't yet. Peace out.